What's up everybody? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're here today with the Unicore IXO and we're connected to Creative Golf 3D golf simulator software. So I've had a lot of people reach out about different software. We actually showed Creative Golf 3D quite a bit in the channel early on and haven't covered it lately, so I wanted to get out there and cover it. Now, one thing that is nice to take advantage of the Unicore system, whether it be the QED, that's the one that sits three and a half feet behind the ball that uses marked balls or the IXO like we're using today. That's three and a half feet in front of the ball and allows you to use ball choice, no markings on the ball and also has advanced club data is that both of those hardware pieces come with base software. Okay. And that allows you to connect to all these different third party golf simulator software applications. So I want to uh, dive out play about nine holes. I'm going to show you guys some updates that have been, uh, you know, released on Creative Golf 3D. They now have penalties, which is cool. Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy that. I know a lot of people were asking about penalties in the beginning, but uh, this is a course out in Austria. Lots of elevation, really cool. I'm going to grab my driver. Um, I already have us lined up uh, and ready to go. This is a par five to start things off. Hopefully we can get a decent drive down there to start and, uh, Put a decent couple holes together for you guys. All right, draw a little bit for me. Draw some more. I planned on playing a draw. Oh, you look, look what's going to happen there. I went right down in the rough and it's just not going anywhere. Well, that's okay. It is what it is. I'm going to have to just kind of fade a ball around, I think, there. Uh, let's see here. That's a layup right there. So if I could just kind of fade a three wood around or maybe a hybrid, maybe I'm better off hitting a hybrid out of here. It says it's gonna take off 30 to 40%. Um, what do I want to do? I think I'm gonna play a hybrid. I need some more launch, I think, to get over uh, the hillside there. You know, I aimed right, assuming I was gonna draw it more than that. All right, let's set up for a fade. All right, fade around there. I swung hard because <laughs> I knew I was going to get deducted for uh, the rough. And sure enough, look how far this ball is going to go. Only 144 yards. I hit that hard. It said like 30 to 40% deduction. Um, well, sure enough, now we're going to have a long approach shot. 12 and a half feet uphill, 114 yards. I think I can get a 50 degree there. As long as I jump at it a little bit, I think we'll be good to go. 12 feet's not too far. This club can carry 115 pretty easily. I kind of jumped at it a little bit, so hopefully I'll get it there. It pushed it a little left to face open, I think. Ah, it's gonna roll down in that valley. It's gonna be a tough birdie putt, but for not a perfect drive starting things off, I'm not gonna complain too much. I mean, we have a lot of golf left here. I think we're gonna like I said, try to play nine holes, just getting started. Haven't played the software in a while either. Um, so the putting is set to align to break. So you can just putt straight, obviously no deductions, um, but it's a foot uphill, 21 feet. So last time I played the speed, which is normal, I wanna say I played a little fast. I felt like it played like 11 um, or so. Uh, my stimp's just over 10. So let's, let's see how we can do this here. 21 feet and it's a foot and a half uphill. I might need to play this for like 30, 30 plus here. Oh, I almost made it. All right. That's a gimme par, which honestly for, you know, pushing that, that drive over there to the right hand side and then just kind of, you know, scrambling out with my, my three hybrid, I'll take a par to start. It's not bad. And here's hole number two. Now I do have it set to auto flybys because I wanted to show you guys, we're using a new desktop that I have. It's an RTX 3090. It's, it's way more than you need for creative golf. That's one nice thing about creative golf is it doesn't require uh, a, a big GPU, but obviously you're going to be able to see very uh, smooth graphics with the RTX 3090. Now 177 yards and it's downhill. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I can probably get my seven there. I'm looking at, that's 165. I grabbed a six because I, I kind of wanted to play like a soft faded six. I hope this isn't too much club. Let's see if I can pull this off. Yeah. 
All right, fade in there nice. Oh, that could be so good if the distance is right. Don't be too much. Yep. Yep, I think I just, uh, I grabbed too much club. I grabbed too much club. I thought I, I thought I chopped enough off of that, you know, but uh, downhill got me. And now here we are chipping, which isn't bad. I get to show you guys chipping. 17 yards, okay. We'll try to kind of get this up uh, maybe 10 feet short of the pin or so. It's kind of be the game plan here. 17 yards, it's not uphill. I think that's a gimme. All right, gimme par. So, you know, we, uh, man, that was, I felt like that shot was so good off the tee and uh, just gonna have to, you know, l focus on those distances a little bit, you know? Um, so another par five. Wow, par five, par three, par five. What a start. Lots of elevation on this course. Look at the elevation. This whole thing is uphill. And you know, I, I kind of jumped out here and just hit record and didn't really warm up. I mean, I hit a couple shots really quick, but uh, you'd really like to be swinging for the fences. Um, I'm gonna aim a little right again because that's just kind of, you know, what I usually play is a little bit of a draw. It actually says it's downhill to the, the landing spot and then it's 32 yards uphill from there. Holy moly. All right. Swung hard at it because I knew we needed the distance. It's a good ball. Get up there far. What is that? A, a grass bunker? Oh, come on. That's rough. <laughs> it's, it's there just to purposely penalize you. Oh, my gosh. And it's going to take off 30 to 40% again. I might as well just lay up. I might as well just grab this hybrid again and lay up. That's brutal. So I didn't even get this thing to carry, and that's uphill. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'll swing after it, but, I mean, I know this is not, uh, this isn't going anywhere. Oh, man. Yeah, I caught it just a little, little fat, too. I mean, that's just going to go nowhere. 125 yards. Wow. I probably could have, you know, launched up an iron to get it to go a little bit uh, farther. But it's a par five and it's a long par five. What's it leave us with? 174 yards, 21 yards uphill. To the edge of the green is 166, 20 yards uphill. I mean, 20 yards. I, ha I have to play a five iron. I'm gonna to try to like draw a five iron in there. I mean, that's that's a really long way uphill. I don't think I drew it though. <laughs> that was just an open face. You could feel it. Look at that. That was the distance too. Oh, you gotta release the club. <laughs> I could just feel it was just open. Face was open at strike. All right. <laughs> We can save this hole. All right, fourth shot. This is our birdie chip here. 30 yards, just a little downhill. Let's get it right next to the pin. Roll right up there. Is that a gimme? Gimme par, we saved it. All right, I feel much better now. Man, that hole was almost torture. <laughs> 538 yards, but just, I mean, it must have been playing 600 something. And obviously my drive wasn't that rough. I should have paid better attention to that little, uh, you know, like a grass bunker is really what it was. So another, so wait a second. We went par five, par three, par five, par three. What a wild, uh, you know, start to this front nine. That's cool though. I like it. It's, it's fun. I'm glad I picked this course now. All right. 203 yards, it's downhill, 25 yards. So, I mean, that's a really long way downhill. I think I can get a seven iron there. 
I'm just trying to do like kind of some math in my head. I mean, I think a six is way too much. Seven in hand. Be right. Yeah, I knew I left it open again. I've been trying to play fades lately. Was that even enough? Yeah, that would have landed on the green. I got to release the club. You know, I'm setting up trying to fade the ball. I, I mean, at one par three, I did really well, but um, I'm trying to get back to fading the ball. I mean, I just keep bouncing back and forth, you know, hitting my misses, these pulls. Now, it's only 12 to 15% rough, 18 yards. All right, a little uphill. You can see the undulation isn't too bad there. Oh, let's see here. I think I can hit it for just shy of 60 feet with uh, the deduction. Be good. I haven't even shown you guys putting yet, I don't think. Is that another gimme? <laughs> All right, we'll get some putt. I don't care if I have to purposely chip it, you know, short on the green. I'll show you guys putting here in a minute. All right, so it went par five, par three, par five, par three. Now it looked like it was par four, par four, par four. So hole number five. Oh, give me a flat hole. Give me a break. <laughs> 449 yards. This isn't a short course. I mean, by any means, it's not a not a short. Okay, so it's way downhill though. I like that. Let's see if we can rip a drive out of there and give ourselves a decent uh, approach shot. I've been slowing my backswing down. And I just feel like I'm making such better contact, um, really slow, getting better tempo. Oh, that 32 yards downhill, that sucker's gone. 305, that's what you're supposed to do when it's that far downhill. I love it. Ball speed was 153.6, mid 150s is, is a good drive for me. 148 yards, 17 yards downhill. Like you really have to know, you know, how far your ball carries with the, this downhill. Now, just to carry the green, it says 140. I mean, I'm going to play pitching wedge, and I just hope that uh, it's going to be enough. I mean, that's, that's a long way downhill. I hit it well. All right. Oh man, look at it roll up there. Ah, it's gonna roll, roll past. I think I have eight, eight foot gimmies on. Gimme birdie. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But I haven't shown you guys putting. <laughs> that was, a, I mean, honestly, I hit that really well. I mean, it was, a, it was exactly what I was trying to do. Um, don't worry. Before the nine holes are up, I will uh, absolutely show you guys putting. I don't care if I have to chip up on the edge. So. Hang tight, I'll show you putting. 151 yards, once again. All right, it's uphill, 28 feet. Now, if I stripe an eight iron, can I get it there? It says 146. Like if I almost kind of draw an eight iron, is it gonna make it? I mean, 28 feet's a lot, but I can carry this club 155 usually, so I doubt it's 10 yards. You know, if I really get a hold of it, it's about about uh, 155 yards. I'm gonna go for it, eight iron. Oh, and I hit behind the ball. It's gonna be short. Yep. Gonna be short. All right. That's what you get. Kind of overthought that a little bit. Oh, it's in deep rough, 30 to 40 percent. That means I'm gonna lose spin, lose distance, and it's only 30 feet to the pin. I have like no green to work with. You just have to flop it. You have to flop it and um, hope for the best. I'm gonna play this for 30 feet, I think, because of that uh, rough deduction, you know, full 30 feet. I'm probably 40 feet, honestly, now I think of it. Yeah, it was too much. It's stuck where I where I hit it. Um, you guys are gonna be able to see putting though. 
So we have to make a 10 and a half foot flat putt. So that flop, you know, stopped the ball, you know, which is nice. Didn't roll out, but uh, obviously just a little too much. At least I got it on the green though. All right, let's see if we can make this 10 foot putt. Sunk it. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but that's the normal hole size that I have on. So that you can actually, when I play with my kids on this, I actually usually increase the hole size like 1.5 or two. It's pretty cool. Um, it makes it a lot easier for them. You gotta make the game fun. Um, and uh, I get them out on these little little short courses. They have like little uh, little mini courses. And uh, you know, it's like a fairy tale course that they love. Make the holes big, put them on the front tees, you know, the junior tees, and they have a blast. All right, a couple holes to go here. See if we can keep this thing going. Now that's only, what is that? That's seven feet uphill, 259. So did we finally get a short par four? Oh, about time, about time. All right, Austria. Can you imagine golfing here in real life? I mean, this could be a, a bucket list. This, this is a really cool course. I've been snowboarding in Austria before. It was amazing. Oh, it was a heel shot. It's gonna be way right. Way right. Yeah, right off the heel. Just a miss. I'd call it a good miss though. I still got 250 out of it. And uh, you know, we have a, a decent shot here. I mean, it says it's only eight to 10% rough. Not too bad. It's a 76 yard shot. So maybe play it for play it for like 85. It's a little just a little downhill. Let's see if I played that right. Oh. Just had a lot of spin. It stopped. 13 feet. 13 feet. All right, let's see what we can do here. That's flat though. You know, very challenging course with all the undulation, um, or I should say elevation, uh, but the greens have been relatively easy. I guess that first hole, remember I rolled down in the uh, valley? That was challenging. 13 feet. It was too hard, I think. All right, give me par. I think I just hit that too hard. It would have dropped if I didn't hit it that hard. I just, I knew the greens are a little fast. I should have, should have let, I probably hit that for a real 15 feet. Um, just have to kind of slow down and think about that a little bit. So what do we have? Par four, par four, 394 yards. Try to keep my driver together. It's a long day so far. So uh, honestly, need to slow down. Just take it easy. Uh, let's see here, 250, that's downhill though. So right side would be a good good spot to miss rather than that bunker, I would think. All right. I, I, fading my driver has been difficult. I'll try to set up for a little fade here and see how it goes. Let's see if I can hit a little fade. Not a heel shot, but a normal fade. Man, that was another miss. Face was open. I hit it high on the face. Roll down the hill. Oh, I think that was almost out of bounds. I see red stakes. I got lucky there. I think I got lucky. Yeah. See the red stakes? All right, so what is that? That's downhill, but I'm losing 8 to 10%. So maybe a little faded 9 iron. Because this is normally... 140, 145. I mean, I almost have to hit it just normal and just kind of go at it. There's green to work with back there. Damn, I'm leaving that face open again. See it going right? Got to release the club. Bounce on the green. Give me something. Is that fringe? I've never putted off the fringe before. I think we're going to probably chip that. I'll show you guys short chipping. All right, that'll be a good opportunity to show you guys short chipping uh, with the IXO. Oh, it has putter, uh, putter selected. Okay, all right, let's let's put it. 
The only thing that's interesting here is, is I don't, I mean, it doesn't look like there's much undulation. We'll go right at it. 27 feet. And it's, uh, it's not downhill at all. Okay. It's just when you're not on the green, it doesn't uh, auto align you. So I hope this is right at it. Look at this. Go. Oh. <laughs> I just left it short. All right. That's a par though. What are we? We're just one under right now. I mean, it's a challenging course. I'll be honest. I'd be happy with even. I would be happy with even. Yeah, we're just one under. Going into the clubhouse, 300 yard par four. All right, so look at this. They're shortening things up on us a little bit here. Oh, and there's water. Well, you're definitely uh, laying up ahead of that. I'd love to hear what you guys think about, um, oh, and it's only 235, 22 yards downhill. Oh, so if you wanted to, you could go for it. I mean, that's 288, 23 yards downhill. I'll just lay up. I mean, that would be it. Like, where are you going to land the ball? You're not going to land it on the green, you know? Um, so I'm just going to hit a three hybrid. All right. 23 yards downhill. All right, that should draw just a little bit. Stay in the fairway though. Oh no, whoa, whoa, big bounce. I'm out of the rough now. I mean, I didn't crush at that thing. That downhill, I, I mean, I hit it really well. I can carry that club 220, 225. So you figure how far downhill it was. I think it's, what did it say, 30 some yards? Yeah, I guess you gotta be careful. I mean, you could get, I think you could clear the green with driver. I just think it, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know the calculations. So we're one under, I don't want to, you know, lay, I mean, I know everybody's going to say no laying up, but, uh, come on, give me a break <laughs> 50 yards, but it's going to take off 12 to 15%. All right. Not a whole lot of green to work with behind it. So maybe hit it for 55 yards or so. It hit the, the flag stick. <laughs> it hit the flag stick. Look at it. And bounced all the way back. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I mean, that is hilarious. Uh, I guess we'll putt from here. It's 60 feet, though. I'm better off chipping. I'm going to do a short chip for you guys. Um, it's a 20 yard, 60 foot chip. I can't believe it hit the flag stick, man. And it hit it kind of like by the white in the middle. I guess that's what would happen in real life. That sucker would bounce back. That's exactly what would happen. All right. A little bit of a bump and run to get it up there. I'm not going to like, run it out, but. Oh, oh, oh. Way too much. The bump and run was, was a terrible idea. I crisp that thing. Look at, we're going to bogey the last hole. 24 feet. It has this putting. Maybe I can sink this off the fringe. Let's try it. Let's try it. It looks pretty flat. Let's give it a try. Get in the hole. Ah, oh, it's short. We bogeyed number nine. I guess lesson learned on the bump and run. I crisped that thing and it just rolled way by. You know, I was doing normal chips before and they were stopping. I guess that's a good demonstration of the bump and run though. Now check this out. The flyover at number 10 takes, starts you at the clubhouse and then here's number 10 and then it takes you up. Oh, that's cool. A little uh, protected by water there. This is a, a challenging course. It really is. I'd love to know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching as always. If you're interested in buying a Unicore system, make sure that you reach out to me. My email is in the comments. It's pinned to the top of the, I'm sorry, it's pinned to the top of the comments and it's in the description. 
make sure you shoot me an email. I want to make sure you get the best price. want to help guide you, make sure you're getting all the right components. Uh, my partners have wholesale access to everything. We're literally doing like full, you know, golf simulator packages. They show up at your house, do it yourself, you know, put it together. Uh, it's, it's amazing. You know, the things that we're doing for people, um, and at a great price, that's, that's, what's important. And I want to make sure you're getting what you, you need and what you should get. So make sure you shoot me an email as always. I appreciate you guys watching and we'll talk to you soon.